Uh, my name is Enrico Giannotti. I'm vice president of CETA 35. And today I'm glad to share with you the case history about uh, the introduction of speech recognition uh, from one of the main Italian uh, public institutions, which is the Italian Chamber of Deputies. Um, first of all, a few words about the company. We are an Italian-based company. Uh, which was founded in 1985, as uh, the uh, name itself reveals, so CEDAT85. And since the beginning, the company was focused on verbal, professional verbalization services, uh, so which means the transcription of speeches from meetings, uh, lectures, and any kind of assemblies uh, in the public and private uh, sector. And uh, uh, so we are specialized in services, but since the beginning, we also uh, had a, a look to the technologies which can bring innovation into such a business. And uh, in 2008, we uh, decided to uh, start uh, investing in uh, automatic speech recognition solution uh, to introduce uh, such uh, technology into the verbalization process. And due to the good results we got with uh, this, we also decided to apply to other sectors like media monitoring, educational, and uh, speech analytics, and of course, mobile. <clears throat> uh, just to give you a few numbers, in 2015, uh, CEDAT uh, managed more than two million hours of speech which we estimated to be equivalent to around 21 billions of words, so something very close to what is behind the Wikipedia um, database. Our peculiarity is that we combine services and technology. So we are provider of services and producer of technologies. And what we try to do is to take benefit from the experience we have in doing services and adapt the technology to uh, better perform up, up, um, applying it, to it into the, the, the service. And we try to uh, apply it, so mainly we are the first customer of what we do. So we try even to learn and to invent by use, as we say. Uh, or maybe, as you are more familiar to say in a, in a more easy way, so we uh, like to eat our own cooking, <laughs> let's say. <laughs> um, I'm here because um, uh, we uh, have this experience um, uh, in, with the Italian Chamber of Deputies, which was the first institution in Italy to adopt, to buy, technology based on speech recognition and natural language processing. Um, and it to be applied into the verbalization process. Uh, what we mean with verbalization? So we have the plenary assembly into the Chamber of Deputies, as you can have here at the House of Representatives, a Senate, or any other assembly. And what it happened before the introduction of the technology, uh, audio was recorded, was segmented, and in some ways mechanically uh, saved on shared folders, where then the team in charge of transcription had to access and to do the transcription, which was made essentially by re-speaking, so using the uh, speech-to-text and uh, typing. Um, the work, the process then is organized on uh, uh, further levels because the first uh, draft of transcription then is uh, transmitted to a second team in charge of the revision and finally to a coordinator which makes the collection of all the segments to produce the final report, which then is uh, printed while the, uh, the audio is uh, saved somewhere else. So text and audio are completely two different uh, things. This process is quite inefficient, slow, muddled, and with lots of uh, critical aspects. First of all, is of course, is uh, very time consuming because people as al al have also to take care of providing it, uh, the job they do to the other team. It, this means also that it's very expensive due to the, uh, the, the, the efforts they have to do to, to, do, to manage the process. 
and is very rigid. That is to say that in organization like Chamber of Deputies, quite often happens that there is a huge amount of hours of speeches from the assembly and other commissions that need to be transcribed, and transcribed always in the same time. So they have, they are, they have uh, an organization, they have to um, uh, get public what is, is uh, the speeches said into the, uh, the plenary assembly at, at the latest in uh, three hours from the speech. So this means that when there is a workload to be managed, they have to ask, they had to ask for further resources from other services. To uh, try to uh, find uh, any solution to, be, to have a more efficient process, in 2013, the Chamber of Deputies decided to ask to the market which could be solution that could help to get to this purpose. And in 2014, they issued a tender where the main uh, purpose of the tender was to buy an automatic speech recognition engine and services to introduce it and to integrate into the process of verbalization. And one important aspect that the requirement of this tender that was that automatic speech recognition system engine had to be uh, to guarantee at least 95% of average accuracy, which is, was a really very challenging target to achieve. And um, be, uh, beside, beside, furthermore, the tender was organized that whoever was interested to provide such technologies had to demonstrate before doing the economical offer and there was a, um, a session, a, text, a test session, where each provider had to demonstrate a, a, a level, at least a level of accuracy of his system. And so they, this test session was organized with providing two hours of audio. One hour was a clean audio, very good audio, and another hour was audio with disfluences, interruption, and uh, problems, which is more typical of what happens into an assembly. After this long process, uh, our solution was considered the most efficient and even also the most, more, most convenient in terms of uh, economical proposal. Um, what we did uh, after winning the, uh, the tender, which was then the moment uh, we had to start solving the problems. <laughs> um, first of all, we tried to uh, take advantage from our expertise in, uh, with the 30 years of experience uh, in verbalization process. So knowing very well which are the critical aspects to be managed for who uh, is doing this kind of job. And uh, secondly, we try to understand better the needs of the customer and try to put ourselves into their shoes to really understand how they were organized and what was critical for them. Uh, after this analysis, uh, then we took, uh, uh, we defined which were the main challenges to, uh, to, uh, to work. And first of all, the main challenge was the high accuracy that was 95% to deliver. Another one was not less important because what we said is maybe we can provide the best technical solution, but if it is so difficult to be accepted by the people working in the Chamber of Deputies, it will be died. Mm -hmm. Although we have maybe 100% of uh, accuracy of the SR. And so we tried to design a solution which was uh, able to maintain the habits of these people. And then I'll show you what we mean with maintaining the habits. And the other challenge was that uh, we were not requested to provide a very good ASR system and that's it. We were requested to provide an engine for automatic transcription to be integrated within the workflow and the way we, they were organized. And so we had to propose a set of solutions in one box. We accepted the challenges 
and we designed uh, this workflow, which was the, the one that at the end we uh, installed uh, into the data center of the Chamber of Deputies. So the workflow is based on the heart, which is the ASR engine at the workflow servers. And uh, we uh, designed the architecture to uh, manage any step from the server side. So voice recording is uh, uh, segmented automatically and sent to the ASR uh, engine. This is the first main step because ASR output is always an, an, a file, an XML file, where text is aligned with the audio. And what we did is never separate these informations and to keep audio and text always together. Together to be dispatched to the first team in charge of the correction of the draft of the meeting, of the, of the speech. Then the, automatically, as soon as the work from the first team was done, sent to the second team for the revision who make the other type of work according to the way they are organized in the Chamber of Deputies, and then sent to the further step of a collection and a final revision and coordination of the text to then be published, and so again goes to the server, and published also on the web by keeping the alignment, always the alignment between text and audio. This is the reason why we talk about hypermedia report. So whatever we manage is never a simple TXT or Word file, but is a file in where we bring together always text and audio. This is the architecture that we installed. Of course, this is an architecture where we, uh, we created the two separate services with the redundant servers to guarantee the full continuity of, of the service. And everything working into the LAN of the Chamber of Deputies. And any client, so they have from 50 to 60 clients of so the people that is going to the transcription and revision. And it can be reached also from outside uh, by following some security policies they have. The point of, stre of strength of, of such a solution are mainly that we uh, were able to optimize all the workflow of the process, from the recording to the publishing. Any step of the workflow is uh, automatic, while before there were many steps which were done manually. And this allows also to reduce the uh, risk of mistakes from people that maybe save the, before were saving the work in a different folder which was not the correct one. Again, another strength, uh, point of strength is the alignment between audio and text. What I was referring before is the XML file, so it's quite small here. Uh, but I try to say here we have the words, the single words, which is the output of the ASR engine. And every word has the milliseconds from the beginning and the end. And this allows us to keep always together with the audio or the video. And uh, the other point of strength is that this application was designed also to monitor in real time any single step of the process. And so the coordinator can change real time, the one operator can uh, decide to assign part of the job to another person because maybe sick or had to do something else. And so it's a very flexible solution. This helped to solve the problems that we said before. First of all, we had a really huge time reduction in doing the job. Uh, we can say that we could reach the 30-40% of reduction of the times that before they were spending in doing the, uh, the, the, the reporting. Of course, we had the cost reduction because any step was automized, automatized, uh, was made automatically with a simple uh, solution. And other benefits that came that were not considered at the beginning when we designed the solution is the improving, we got, we get, we, we get, we got an improving of the quality of the workers. Uh, just for instance, 
uh, by um, uh, not doing typing or detecting, they already were more concentrating on the quality of the revision they had to do on the text. So they were not taking care anymore to spend a lot of time by typing on the, on the PC or dictating. And uh, since we, keep, we were able to keep all together, always together, the audio and the text, they had also the possibility to still work in a familiar environment. What do we mean with familiar environment? We mean that they were used to work on Microsoft Office suite and doing the transcription there. We, when we uh, installed the solution, we kept, again, Microsoft Word, but we added an add-on where they could benefit from the alignment between text and audio. This means that when they do the revision, they just click on the Word in the Microsoft Word uh, uh, software, and they go exactly in the point where in the, of the audio where the word was spoken. And you cannot imagine how much was successful this solution. I think it was the main um, feature that uh, helped to have a success in this uh, installation. And of course, the solution is, is uh, quite flexible and helps to op optimize the workforce and to manage the uh, workloads that can happen. Uh, we uh, got to these results because we worked uh, by integrating many factors, coming from the technology, of course, because without the technology, we could not pr propose any innovation. The customization we were able to provide and the experience. The experience is the 30 years experience I said before. So we knew exactly, for instance, that the alignment between audio and text was one of the key of success of the solution because we tested on ourselves that it helped to reduce a lot of time while doing the transcription. The technology we could provide and we demonstrated already when we were participating to the tender that we could provide already a very accurate ASR system. But that was not enough because during the uh, uh, activity of preparation for delivering the system, we made a really very uh, important customization activity because we have the ownership of the ASR engine and we can work either on the acoustic models and the language models. So on the acoustic models, we trained a new acoustic models with more than 1,000 hour, 1, hours of audio from speech about the specific domain managing more than 20,000 different voices. And on the linguistic language model, we trained the system with documents containing words, around 1 billion words, always related to the institutional domain. But this was not enough because the Chamber of Deputies also asked for more vertical customization. So after we installed, they say, Hey, we would like that, for instance, uh, the same word is uh, to come uh, uh, with the uppercase when it, is, it refers to the name of the minister, for instance. So there we have the, the word ministro, minister. And they wanted that minister came with uppercase when was referred to the name of the minister, while was with lowercase when it was referred to a general uh, word of ministro. They asked also, for instance, to manage the digits, the numbers, differently according uh, to the context. So number to be written with the digits if it was referred to the article number two. But to the same number to be written as a letter if the deputies in the speech was saying, I would like to say two words. For ready dire due parole. And also to manage many uh, for formatting features according to what they, they do. And this is something that happens constantly. Thanks to the possibility to do a real-time customization to some tools that we were able to develop, we could answer to such requests. And this was not expected, really. 
uh, because this was a communication we received in February, so f four months after we uh, installed the, the system, and we received uh, this com com communication certifying that what we installed was perfectly in line with the request from the tender, but furthermore that uh, they measured the quality of the ASR system and said that the quality, well, the average word accuracy was not lower than 95.5%, so which was more than what, what was the, the, the level we were obliged from the contract. And this is a very successful um, uh, result that, that we got. So, uh, this is the story about what we installed into the Chamber of Deputies, but um, in, during these months, we have been working on further features uh, because what I described before is something that gives to an answer to a specific need of a team of persons that are dedicated to the um, uh, transcription activity. But the same process can bring to, further, to provide further services. And alignment between audio and text, for instance, allow you to have a full indexing of all the transcription between always audio and text. This means also that you can do a search, like Google-like search, into an archive where you have all the plenary assemblies and they are reachable, uh, you can find very easily. You, uh, through the transcription that, you, that we were able to uh, connect with the audio or the video, you are able to print on the video subtitles. You can do also video clip extraction. So from the text, you can decide from a point to another which is the part of the text that you want to extract from four hours of audio of speeches. You can even habilitate notifications when some words, argument, or name of person is spoken into, is mentioned into the speech. And we also integrated with the social media, which means that the speeches from the deputy can be in real time extracted by the whole recording and uh, posted on Facebook, LinkedIn, or whatever. So we tried to, do, to introduce something innovative into the, uh, into the way uh, and the organization from a public administration in a democracy. Uh, this is just to um, share with you and give you a, 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 a practical example of what we have done. Uh, the job that the internal team does in, for doing the transcription can be then delivered and published on a web page where we have all the videos. And thanks to the transcription synchronized with the video, we can do a search. For instance, we do a search by a word technology. And you get back the results and the system searches when into the uh, video the word technology was mentioned, was pronounced. Then you can go to the specific video and uh, you get exactly in the points. So second, New technology with this membrane technology being... Second minute, let's see when it opens. Five close numbers. I mean, the technology five, we're using is, is pr primarily applicable to urbanized areas because you need. When this person is pronouncing technology. Here you have, you, you see here the word technology, which is in bold, and here the full. The technology we're using is, is primarily applicable to urbanized areas. Because you need to have a central collection point for the wastewater. As I showed you but then before, you can then harvest and reuse that water and, uh, and deliver it back out to your customers. So it wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't be so applicable. And with the credentials, can access to the system. And by the clipping mode, can select 
new from technology with this membrane technology well being to water, uh, for uh, developed to, to the part the of the video utmost, they want but all he wants to to uh, extract so here we have our segments that I choose I can decide to put together and so I create a kind of movie uh, adding the the single segments And just with a few clicks, I guess to run the process, uh, I can do a kind of metadata. I can add, add the date, and ask the system to run the clipping. You see, it's very, very, very easy. Here we are. We have already the clipping that we can download. Where is it? Okay. We, are, we have the opportunity, the possibility to post it on YouTube, Google Drive, Dropbox. Another nice thing that is really very used and uh, helps a lot is the possibility to get a PDF, which looks like a normal PDF, but it, it contains always the video inside. Mm -hmm. So you can download on your PC the video and the text always together. And you have, sorry, this is something else. And Uh, don't know where this this PC puts the, the PDF. By the way, and other uh, possibility is also to define alerts. Uh, and so, from this moment on, as soon as a new mo a new um, audio or video is uh, published on the platform, you receive a notification via email uh, that that specific word or argument has been pronounced. So this is what we... Um, yeah. What we like to call under the umbrella digital for democracy, uh, which is our solution, a new paradigm uh, to, to approach the way how our public institution can use what they do uh, for being more transparent, for uh, uh, habilitate a different way of communicating with the citizens, can to be more open to the citizens, habilitate accessibility tools. And just to be into the details, for instance, what we mean with openness, we mean that by having the possibility uh, uh, on a native way to index the transcription of the video and the possibility to have a full text, everybody, thanks to a web page, has the possibility to search and to be informed without ask, asking to get access to, to a document. But they can, can go there and find whatever they want. And this is full open. Uh, having the possibility to have together audio, video, and text and subtitles you have a full accessibility for people uh, with disabilities, foreign people, and uh, aged people as well. The instant alerting, all, of course, helps to go closer to a way we are now more and more used to, to communicate, which is the way we communicate with Twitter, with, with Facebook, and with instant messaging. So we cannot wait one day, two days after the, where the reporting is ready, then to know what it was said two days before. But in this way, it is very, very um, uh, fast. And video extraction plus integration with social media helps to uh, give a new approach to institution and also to have a different way to attend of the attendance at, at, citizen, at, at citizen. Sorry. Um, other play, other uh, areas or sectors where the application can be used are conferences, education and lectures, of course, 
into banks. We have also this application for banks and cars. We are working with the Ministry of Justice for applying part of the technology to the criminal uh, um, card and the criminal for the criminal report. What we learned from the lesson with the Chamber of Deputies, we learned that uh, technology is important. Of course, we are every day involved with technology, with innovation, but it's not enough, especially when uh, it needs to be used and to be integrated in places where they are already used to work in, some, in, in, uh, to, to work in specific way. And so that is important always to, lo to look at the technology, but also to understand clearly which are the needs of the customer and fix like them. So this is the reason why we think that our success in the story and the certification we received comes from this capability to understand the needs and to customize the solution according to, to, to what they needed. And thank you very much.